You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to episode number 801. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today, joining us on the next hundred and beyond, we hope. And uh, thanks for all your questions. Just thanks for all you guys do for the show, sharing, reviewing, it all helps and we appreciate it. You being here and doing all that stuff. Yeah, so take a second, go into iTunes, Overcast, whichever app you use to download podcasts and leave a review. Um, but anyway, before we get too deep into today, I like today's question. You've got $1,000. How are you going to start your drone business? Um, I think it's really powerful. But before we get there, uh, we are going to give away, as you guys understand, what we're doing is every 50 episodes, we give away a free membership. And today... The free membership, as I generate a random number, is going to... That was anticlimactic. 752. <laughs> He's like expecting like this crazy number. Like, that, it is, that is a something. random number. So I mean... <laughs> Very randomly generated. 752. So, oh, Darren in the UK. Darren from the UK. Maybe he can teach our UK CAA class. Anyway, I actually had an interesting question back in the day when he asked that question about multiple out there. They have multiple realtors listing the same house, which I just find fascinating. Oh. Remember that question? Anyway, so Darren, we'll be reaching out to you. If you're listening, hopefully you are. You can reach out to us at support at the drone you dot com. And uh, of course, we've got your email that you used when you asked the question. So we can just uh, cross reference you that way and get you taken care of. Awesome. Think Congratulations. Awesome. Congratulations. I think you're going to see that there's a lot of content on there for you to, to, to take a look at. Um, but before we go any further, a uh, quick little note. If you're looking to have an epically fun experience this summer, fly drones with people that you know and people that you don't know, gain confidence, and really have the knowledge and skill to take your business to new heights, then you're going to want to check out the Drone You Fly-In. The 2018 Drone You Fly-In will be held at the Balloon Museum and Balloon Fiesta Park here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, August 2nd through August 5th. It's going to be taking place in a place where we can fly as many drones as we want. There's going to be subject tracking exercises, crime scene investigation exercises, mapping exercises, and flight skill exercises to truly test your skills. Not only is this a conference that is based purely on practical missions, it's also a conference where you can win cash and free drones. So make sure to check it out, DroneUFlyIn.com. See you there. Hey guys, first off, thank you very much for all the content that you create for us here at The Drone U. I'm a brand new member and um, I'm currently studying for my Part 107 uh, exam using your resources and your community. So thank you for that. Hats off to you. Basically, my question boils down to this. Uh, if you were brand new to the drone industry, what drone would you purchase and what services would you focus on offering? Um, we're going to assume right out of the gate that uh, you've got about $1,000 to purchase said drone. That's all in, so extra batteries, uh, any other accessories, everything together, about $1,000. And then secondly, we're gonna assume that you have your part 107 and that you've uh, already spent the time and the money to focus on creating a website, creating some kind of marketing campaign, and you are you know, ready to essentially launch this, um, but you just don't know where to focus. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I need, and I really hope that you guys get a chance to uh, put this one out there. I think it would help a lot of folks who are in a similar position. Thanks, and have a great day. Thank you, Joshua. Appreciate you taking the time to uh, get your question in. And and like we always say, if you've got a question, some uh, a lot of other people out there probably have it as well. I think this is probably one of those. It is something that we've touched on probably multiple times over the years, but it's a question that's good to update because things change. And drones change. But interestingly, in this case, I'm guessing things haven't changed a lot. I don't think things have changed very much. Um, I love his question, though. If I got a grand and that's going to cover everything, what do I get? Here's your answer. Mavic Pro, nah, because you can't do mapping with it. And if you're really trying to get the most out of your money, you know, that's not an option for you. Phantom is going to be an option. I would get a Phantom for advanced refurbished online. 
I think they're like eight ninety nine, either seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine, and you'll have a couple extra batteries. You're not gonna have a case because guess what? You don't need one if you're just getting started. You're just getting these drone jobs. You'll earn the case later. Just start building your business. I think it is really that simple, Rob. I mean, you know, we've talked about what are the best drones for mapping. I've always said the Phantom 4 Pro. I really should be saying the Phantom 4 Advanced because it's cheaper and it does the same thing. Mm. So, um, I mean, I think I really just nailed this question right there with one sentence, which I know is really difficult to have short shows, but sometimes well, you just got to give it to them straight. No, straight is good. Straight is definitely good. But I'll just ask a little bit deeper question. That is... He's also kind of asking, with that drone, what should I do? And so my question for you is, do you think it's necessary that people, like, use real estate as a gateway, for example? Or if someone like him just goes right into figure out I mapping and do it. I think you should try out different things. You should try out mapping. You should try out videography. You've got to get good at the sticks one way or another. And the reason that real estate is so good for that is it's a fixed subject. It doesn't move. It's really yeah. easy to figure out how to fly smoothly when your subject doesn't move. Very, very simple. You should also be practicing mapping, though, because your business is only as good as your capabilities therein. And if you can't offer these and you get an opportunity to do mapping and you're now just learning how to do it, you're screwed. Well, on top of that, I mean, even with something like real estate, mapping can come into play and totally. it will and it yeah, already is. Totally. I agree. A hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. I'm going to keep this one short because we just did episode 800. We've got a lot to go. This really is one of those quick, easy, dirty questions. So I think that answers his question just straight up. And what jobs should you do? You need to figure that out because you need to be searching for jobs that, number one, make you happy. What do you enjoy doing? Do you enjoy working for realtors? Probably not. Do you enjoy doing mapping? Probably. Do you enjoy doing high-level videography? It depends on what kind. You've got to ask yourself, number one, what type of jobs do I want to do? Why? Because why is more important than what? And... On top of that, you've got to be thinking to yourself, okay, what type of client do I want to work for? Because those things go together, okay? Don't let anyone tell you what type of jobs to be doing. You need to figure it out on your own. Because if you don't figure it out on your own, you're just going to waffle around and do the one job that someone told you to do, and then three years down the road, realize you should have learned how to map. So, yeah, and a lot of that depends on where you live, for example. Like if there's resorts all around you, you might want to jump There's resorts that. everywhere. Yeah. Every town has resorts. Indeed. But like there are places in Carolina, for example, where there's just golf resorts all over the place. That's probably a good opportunity. Totally. So depends on where you're at. On that bombshell, that is going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Tronio. Ask Tronio.